In this session, I am going to explain about electrochemistry. Electrochemistry is a branch of science which deals with the conversion of chemical energy into electrical energy or the conversion of electrical energy into chemical energy. The device which convert chemical energy into electrical energy or the electrical energy into chemical energy is called electrochemical cells. There are two types of electrochemical cells. One is galvanic cell or the voltaic cell and the another one is electrolytic cell. Galvanic cell or the voltaic cell deals with the conversion of chemical energy into electrical energy. And the electrolytic or the electrical cell converts electrical energy into chemical energy. The redox reactions form the basis of electrochemical cells. Redox reactions means uh, in that type of reaction, oxidation as well as the reduction reactions takes place simultaneously. During oxidation reaction, what happens? The removal of electron will takes place. That means a species loses one or more electrons as well as there will be increase in the oxidation number of the metal will takes place. And the reaction is metal uh, converts to uh, its uh, ionic form with the liberation of electrons. Here, uh, the oxidation number will increase. And the example is iron, it converts to its plus two state with the liberation of electrons. Where the oxidation reaction occurs, that electrode acts as anode. And the reduction reaction is uh, here what happens the addition of electron will take place we know already it's right so that means uh, the species that gains one or more electrons as well as their uh, decrease in the oxidation number of the metal will take place and the reaction is here uh, addition of electron will take place to the metallic ions and this metallic ions reduces to its metal form and the example is this cupric ions here this cupric ions reduces to its metal form with the addition of electrons and where uh, we are observing the redox, uh, reduction reaction that electrode act as cathode so during oxidation reaction mainly removal of electron takes place as well as increase in the oxidation number of the metal will takes place and in the reduction reaction addition of the electron will takes place as well as the decrease in the oxidation number of the metal will takes place and in an electrochemical cell each electrode is known as a single electron or a half cell when the metal will immerse in its own salt solution, then uh, there will be some potential arises and that potential is known as electrode potential. And when the metal is uh, metal will immerse in its own salt solution, the metal will and the difference between the potential of two half cells, that means that uh, the potential uh, the potential difference between the electrode is known as EMF or the cell potential. When the metal will immerse in its own salt solution, then the metal will naturally either lose the electrons or gain the electrons. And the measurement of tenden this tendency of the metallic electrode is known as single electrode potential. And uh, similarly, if uh, we particularly measuring this tendency with the unit molar concentration at room temperature, that means at 25 degrees Celsius, then it is known as standard electrode potential. So the measurement of tendency of metallic electrode to lose or gain the electrons when it is dipped in uh, its own side solution is called single electrode potential. Uh, and uh, 
if we particularly measuring the measuring this tendency with unit molar concentration at room temperature then it is known as standard electrode potential and according to iupsc convention, conventions electrode potentials of uh, metals are taken only in terms of reduction potentials not in terms of oxidation potentials now let us see in brief about the emf of a cell or the cell potential i already explained this one emf of a cell is nothing but the potential difference between two electrodes of a galvanic cell when the potential difference between the two electrodes will takes place which causes flow of the electrons from lower electrode potential to higher electrode potential so the emf of the cell is nothing but the potential difference between two electrodes and it is represented by e cell is equal to, to e cathode minus e anode and the positive e cell value indicates the cell reaction is feasible and which also indicates the production of electrical energy daniel cell is an example for galvanic cell this cell consists of two electrodes one is zinc electrode which is immersed in zinc sulfate solution and the other uh, other one is copper rod which is immersed in copper sulfate solution these two electrodes are connected through voltmeter and the solutions are connected through salt bridge which is filled with inert salt like uh, potassium chloride or ammonium nitrate at zinc electrode oxidation of metal will takes place which results in the dissolution of zinc with the liberation of two electrons here zinc electrode acts as anode these liberated electrons moves in an external circuit through voltmeter and reaches to the copper electrode at copper electrode the cupric ions which is present in the solution receives the electrons and the cupric ions reduce to its metal form hence reduction will takes place so that this copper electrode acts as cathode so overall here this zinc uh, zinc electrode uh, during uh, at zinc electrode the oxidation will takes place hence it act as anode and at copper electrode it receives the electrons hence uh, uh, here reduction will takes place hence it act as cathode during darien cell uh, we can observe two cases we know at anode what happens here zinc is uh, converts to its zn2 plus ion form that means dissolution of zinc electrode will takes place right when the concentration of zinc sulfate solution is high then the dissolution is difficult if the concentration of zinc sulfate solution is uh, less that means if we use dilute zinc sulfate solution then the dissolution will easier hence from these two cases we can understand that there will be a quantitative relationship between the electrode potential and the concentration of the electrolyte which is derived by nust and the equation is given by e is equal to 2 e not plus 2.303 rt divided by nf into log concentration of mn plus where e is single electrode potential e not represents standard electrode potential r is universal gas constant t is temperature which is in kelvin n is number of electrons f is faraday and mn plus is the concentration of the electrolyte when temperature is equal to 298 degree kelvin then uh, r is a constant that is 8.314 joule per kelvin per mole and uh, f value is which is also constant that is 96500 coulomb per mole when we substitute these three, uh, these three values to this equation then mm, the nust equation can be written as e is equal to e not plus 
0.0591 by n into log concentration of mn plus. This is Nernst equation at 298 degree Kelvin. 